The Lake controller uh, has the ability of integrating with currently with Smart Life and also Wave Capture measurement software. And this gives you the option of putting a measurement microphone in the room and actually EQ everything directly from the Lake controller. Um, it overlaps with Smart Live or Wave Capture uh, using a plugin called Lake Analyzer Bridge, which, which sends all the data from one software to the Lake controller. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmute um, the input here. And let's start by soloing the lows. I can solo the lows or have the entire system. But let's say everything was done on the crossover and we want to deal with the room EQ. There's a button called Analyzer Bridge at the bottom right of the screen. And under Analyzer Bridge, I can start by showing the Spectrum RTA. So the music starts. I already capture my delay time between the uh, measurement microphone and the reference signal. So I'm going to run uh, the Spectrum RTA. I can see some activity there. Uh, it's on a 12th of an octave. I can now go into transfer function. And with transfer function, I'm going to give it a little bit more gain. And I can see my coherence on the top, my measurement in the middle, and my face plot at the bottom. So one, one of the nicest tricks is to actually swap and pause the signal. So the first thing I'm going to do is swap the transfer function. So I'm swapping it. And now I'm just going to pause it. And by pausing it, I can actually mute the signal and uh, keep a quiet room while other people need to be working. I can just keep it quiet. And what I can do is pretty much perfectly draw or redraw the inverse of the transfer function. If, of course, I want to achieve something that's a completely flat uh, response at that microphone measurement, which, of course, is not the perfect situation. It can't be always like that. And it's not something you would do on just one mic position. But notice how the Mesa filter combined with other uh, bell sort of shape filters uh, can give you an exact replica of the inverse of the transfer function. So I'm adding, again, I have 256. These aren't filters, but just shapes that do a summation of all of them as one single filter for the entire spectrum. So I can be as detailed as I want. I can do something like that. Might not be completely realistic, uh, but I could have different measurement, microphone measurements overall the entire room and get an average that's a little bit more realistic. So let's say I'm going to commit to that curve. So what I can do now is I'm going to run audio again. I go back to my EQ, go back to Analyzer Bridge, on pause it, and on the transfer properties, I'm going to swap the face. So I actually have a pretty, pretty flat response for that m specific microphone position. Notice that the phase is pretty good too. It's not... It's not as bad. All these responses are minimum phase. So by having a very tight notch, you're not affecting the phase as much.